Guys, this is the, because there's going to be boxing fans and enthusiasts and all these guys that are going to be like, you know, that are going to come out of the woodworks and be talking about, oh man, y'all niggas don't know what y'all talking about, man. Nope. Why the fuck y'all making videos and shit, man? Shut the fuck up. We already know that. Okay? We're not boxing experts. We're not boxing experts. I'm definitely not a boxing expert. We know George's white ass is not a boxing expert, but we talk about it and below on the comment board, you guys can sit there and spread all your knowledge and argue and want to kill each other over about, you know, the shit you know, right? I agree. Uh, okay. Now, obviously, Floyd Mayweather Jr. is going to be fighting Sal Alvarez, Canelo, um, as George would call him, the ginger wonder. I don't know if you call him that. Would you call him like that? Anyway, I'm going to tell you no, what, George. Like that motherfucker punch. Um, it, it could be interesting. A lot of people think, you know, it, 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 it is, it is a no joke fight because Floyd Mayweather is going to be fighting a guy that is young and upcoming and has some power. And if he does not fucking watch it, he will get ginger snapped. <laughs> ginger snapped. <laughs> That's right, sure. <laughs> ginger snapped. <laughs> ginger snapped. So he All right. better be what he is famous for. He better be counter punching on the move, slipping that shit and keeping that shoulder high. Otherwise, we can see what we saw at UFC 162. You know? You never know. It's always just, a puncher's chance in, my, in fighting. My my opinion of Mayweather, if he gets hit, it's because <clears throat> he let you hit him. Yeah. That's that's the God's honest truth. When I watch Mayweather box, and it was interesting, in his last fight, he took a couple rounds where he was aggressive, and that mm -hmm. was shocking because he did it early on. Mm -hmm. And then he goes back to his patented Mayweather boxing skill. You guys call it boxing. You call it skillful. I call it fucking snoring. Right. To me, it's just, and I've said it time and time again, not that entertaining to watch mm -hmm. for a guy like me. And we so, know it's the sweet science. We know that yes, when it comes it. to the sweet science, you know, he's straight sugar because he's got mad. We know that. We know that. We're just saying that when we wa wa watch a fight, and it doesn't mean just boxing or if it's, if it's mixed. I want to see a shorts, fight. We want to see a fight. We want to see more, you know, more like, take the gloves people off. engaging more. You know what I mean? Now, we broke this shit down, and um, first of all, we talked about the boxing advantage, just a short, which we'll, I'll talk about first, because obviously you were talking about Floyd Mayweather's boxing uh, skills. And when you're talking about boxing advantage, you got to give that shit to Floyd Mayweather. I mean, yeah. Alvarez is, is a good boxer. He's got a good jab, which in the past has given Floyd Mayweather some problems. You know, somebody who has a really decent jab, but... If you're looking at overall boxing and Floyd Mayweather's Spiller to be a great counterpuncher, the advantage is going there. You yeah, know? I'm not even going to argue that. I, 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 right now, before we can get to the end, I think Mayweather's going to win this via Mayweathering him to death. Yeah, he's words. just going to get a UD. That's yeah. what I would have to think. He's I was going to slip him, hit, wait for the counter, one, two, one, two. Pip, pip, and just yeah. outpoint him. Now, if there's a way for Alvarez to win this fight, I think it would be catching Mayweather or just beating him down. And that's where I think... Alvarez has the power advantage. I mean, we haven't seen Floyd made taking away when he just basically hit Ortiz on yeah. the break and knocking. We have not seen Mayweather knock somebody out. I think since like 2007, he just does not win fights that way anymore. He he outpoints you. He outboxes you. Now let um, me let me ask you this question mm -hmm. because I just want. Do you think it would be possible in this fight for Alvarez to get to Mayweather's body? And the reason I say that is because I see a lot of people try to go after Mayweather's head. Mm -hmm. And he's constantly, you know, he does that, that shell that yeah. he does. And he keeps his elbows. And he takes a lot of things off his elbows and mm -hmm. shoulders and does this. Mm -hmm. So is it possible, while he's up here doing this, to try to slip in a body shot and slow him down and try to get those hands down? Because to me, the only way you're going to get the Mayweather's head is if you can get him conscious about getting hit in the body I think, and try to pull those hands down. I think he's got to use, yeah, he's he could try to do that and come forward and try to cut off the ring and, and use a jab and do so, kind of like Tommy Hearns did when he fought Sugar Ray Leonard. And that would be a great formula for Alvarez and good game plan. Um, I don't think he'll do it. No, I just, I, and I, all just, the, I, I mean, if he could do it, he, he could fuck Mayweather up. I that just haven't seen anybody try to go after Mayweather's body. Right. They seem to constantly try to go to the head. Mm -hmm. And his, his defense is superb. I mean, his defense is probably the best I've ever seen, mm -hmm. which again, will result in a Well, fight, the but. thing is with Mayweather, if you're going to the body, you're, you know, if you're going to the body, if I'm going to your head, I'm protect, when, I'm coming down low, okay? Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm throwing a punch like we've talked about millions of times. It creates an opening. So when I'm going to the body and I'm creating an opening against somebody who is such a phenomenal counterpuncher like Floyd Mayweather, 
I'm leaving my dome open like shit. Now, unless I'm but fighting he, you and I'm going to break my hand on If he doubles up with his jab and then comes down and leaves this hand up, I mean, he has to come with the left. I mean, I don't know. To me, there's to me, if I'm a boxer, I'm going to try to find a way to get to Floyd's body. I'm going to analyze tape. To me, i got to get to the guy's body because i got to get his head's da- hands he, down he, from him to get to his head. He's got to use his size. We know that, you know, Alvarez comes in the ring heavyish, can get big. I mean, they're going to fight at a catch weight of 152. I don't think Floyd Mayweather's ever fought at this weight. I think the last time that Alvarez was down to this weight was like 2011. So, what was it, 13? 13, 14 years old. But I mean, oh, so I just, I just, he's just a big boy. He comes in the ring heavy as shit. If he can bull Mayweather and, and push up, you know, and use his weight and cut off the ring, he could do it. But the problem is, he's just, if it was anybody else, I say, yeah, he'd have more of a chance to do it. And that doesn't mean that he can't, but. Doing it against someone like Mayweather, it's just so hard, you know? Right, you know, I understand. But I'm just trying to figure out how do you beat Mayweather. There's yeah. got to be a way to beat him. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. When you start looking at fighters and you're like, how do you beat him? That's that's a sign of it. That's a good motherfucking fighter. I, and I, you know? yeah, I agree. And that's why we give the defense advantage to Floyd Mayweather because we both we, we, we all know how good of a counter puncher he is. We know how he slips punches, how he get, he moves, he keeps moving. I mean, he waits for you. He doesn't... You know, he doesn't, he's a very accurate fighter, a very he's accurate a boxer. Huh? He's an accurate. Talk he nice is shit. very accurate. And he waits for you to create openings. He takes advantage of them, hits you. He doesn't hit you. If Floyd Mayweather. He's not going to knock you down. He's not going to knock you down. Now, if he does knock you down, it's because he's accumulated so many punches over 12 rounds that you just, your hands have dropped so, and then he can go upstairs. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'm thinking if he can't hit you that hard, does Canelo come across the ring and just go, all right, you want to hit, you can hit me twice. I'm going to try to hit you once. I'm going to make my one shot count. I would, I would just do what you said. I, if I, if I was, you know, I think what you have to look at is like, okay, if I'm in Alvarez's corner, I'm like, you got to keep coming forward with the jab. Keep coming forward with the jab. Coming forward, coming forward, coming forward, coming forward, coming forward, cut off the ring, coming forward, coming forward. Because that, that could at least get you points in the meantime, you know, meantime. Um, and then try to go to the body and then maybe go upstairs. I mean, that, that's the thing, but you're looking, you're standing, you're, you're across the ring from a man who has his dad and his uncle who are both fighters Mm -hmm. and are great corner men they've been down this avenue a million times big pay-per-views they're used to they're used to this audience they're used to the hype they're used to the fucking you know 24 they're used to all of it and and they're used to saying okay this is who you're going up against floyd so it is very hard in my opinion for them to come up alvarez's uh you know team alvarez come up with a better game plan than team mayweather it's just going to be tough you know And, and then you've got someone like floyd mayweather jr who's super savvy in the ring I mean, he just, he's got great, uh, ring, gen- uh, ringmanship. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, I would love to see an upset. You know, I would I too. Think, I mean, I, we just watched one in MMA, which I don't think anyone saw. Uh, um, yeah. Coming. It, it, it's, 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 it's good. Um, um, I just want it, 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 it's good. Um, but it's like we saw with, uh, Pacquiao. You know, I mean, I don't know if he was upset with Pacquiao because, you know, which Magic Marquez had his number. He's got another fight coming up, doesn't he? He's got another he's fight. He's going to fight over in the Philippines. He's yeah. He's fighting close to home. Mm-hmm. And so I, I just want to see good, interesting fights, you know. And maybe I don't want to see Mayweather because I'd love to see Mayweather and Pacquiao fight. I just always thought that would be a good fight. But, I don't uh, think that fight's ever going to happen. I don't think it's going to materialize anyway. Anyway, guys, all you boxing freaks, enthusiasts, down mm. below, leave your comments. Let us know what George and I don't know what mm. the fuck we're talking about because I'm sure we'll get some of that shit. <laughs> Deuces.